Okay, not 40 anymore, 85. So now that of course we sprayed, the temperature now is being controlled here by the heat exchanger. Okay, the heat exchanger is now moving to cooling. So this one here is being now controlled by the heat exchanger. This here, we do not care anymore once we spray. This is our pre-sterilization temperature. We have to reach 280 degrees here to sterilize the pipe work that doesn't come in contact with hydrogen peroxide, CCP, 280. Once we've reached 280 and we sprayed, we don't care about this. This one here, we care about now, okay? Air knife, not on. Air knife, only on during production. Okay, 106 degrees. You see here, not enabled. Okay? Uh, little cabinet, who cares? Only when the door's open. Cooling water system, main cooling water temperature, 21 degrees. So this is the main cooling water, okay? UV lamp, radiation, met radiation meter tent intensity, zero. We're not running. UV lamp, water cooling temperature, 21 degrees. Circulating. Only when we run. Not on now. Oxide concentration, 36 degrees. Uh, 36 percent. Okay. Oxide fast temperature. 85 degrees. When we start the machine, we will go through starting sequence. The first thing we check when we start the machine is this temperature. If it is wrong, the machine will step down. Proxide bath temperature. Then we have four elements here. For the carpets, carpets for the hydrogen, pro uh, hydrogen peroxide bath. So we have outside carpet, Inside carpet, inside carpet, outside carpet. 82, 82, 82, 82. The peroxide is heated here in the bath, uh, sorry, in the tank by separate hydrogen peroxide heating system. This heating system here heats the peroxide here. But when we go to production starts, we maintain temperature in the bath to maintain hydrogen peroxide temperature. We don't heat it here. This is to maintain temperature. The heating for peroxide is done here, for the bath here. Then when we start the machine, we pump from the tank, pump from the tank to the bath. As soon as we start, we check temperature, 85 degrees. If it's good, here we maintain temperature on the carpet, okay? After lunch, when we run a pack, we won't be able to get a pack out before lunch. After lunch, we will go through this whole sterile air system. You will go through it. So you need your book, and we will go through, and you will tick off everything. Once you've ticked off everything, we will then go back into the classroom to make sure you have it all right, okay? So if you have a pencil and a rubber, it's better to do it first, the pencil and a rubber. Or if you don't, then it's like a dog brick. Cross it and start it. You can't get it there. So here we have steam temperature on now, 135 degrees, because we need steam temperature when we're in heat sterilization. This steam coming is wrong, we went to sterilization, the machine will go to zero. And here we have filling pipe temperature. At this stage here, now we are in drying. Here, at this point. In drying, we check this temperature. Filling system pipe external temperature, here. Drying time for here, is 14 minutes drying time here. If the temperature here goes above 155 degrees, then the B valve will close. Okay? Drying time finished. 
remember I said upstairs mm -hmm. earlier in the week, this temperature, um, P100, it checks filling pipe temperature. Yeah. If this goes above 155, B valve closed. At the moment, the B valve is open. B valve is down. Okay? So if this goes over 155, B valve closed. Drying time finished. Okay? So we will go through this here. This whole sterile air system after after lunch. Alrighty? We can check flow. At the moment, the compressor is running 100 cubic meters per hour for the drying system. Okay, you can see it moving, shifting here. 100 cubic meters per hour. Here, 8 standard meters per minute. This is the amount of water going into the scrubber to create the seal in the compressor to create pressure. Without water, you cannot create pressure because the vane inside the, the pump is offset like a, like a jet engine. Big intake, small outlet. Okay. This here is, is a bit shitty. This, this is pointing to the compressor saying 100 cubic meters per hour. This should be here. Because we're measuring at the flow meter. Sterile air system flow meter. It doesn't get mad. It's We measure it here, not here. But this is just showing its output. Okay, from the compressor. We don't measure flow at the compressor, we measure it at the flow meter. Here. Okay. Heat exchanger? Now we're in cooling. Heat exchanger. Valve position. Ranging from maximum cooling 0% to maximum heating 100%. Because now, if we look here, we are a septic chamber temperature. Septic chamber temperature we want to control to 85 degrees. To get to 85 degrees, we need to be Here, zero percent maximum cooling, maximum heating 100 percent. At the moment, 39 percent. Heat exchanger valve is going from maximum heating to maximum cooling. Okay, but we don't want to cool it down too far. So we have the heat exchanger valve sitting at a certain percentage to get the septic chamber temperature at 85 degrees. Okay. Septic chamber pressure. With the, the flow from the compressor inside the circuit for the sterile air system, it is closed. Closed system. We are dragging air from the drying chamber down to the scrubber, from the scrubber to the compressor, from the compressor to the water separator, from the water separator to the superheater, superheater to heat exchanger, heat exchanger to air inlet valve, air inlet valve into the septic chamber. So this This aseptic chamber pressure, now, in this closed circuit, we are reading here, 751 pascals. You can see we have a lower limit and an upper limit, very high. I mean, it's a very wide window. But if we fall below 100 here, the machine will go to zero. So currently we're running here, okay, green light. When valves change over, you see this change here. Air knife, not on. 
drying chamber and our chemicals. This here is latent heat. This 98 degrees here is the septic chamber temperature. So it's just breeding latent heat from the septic chamber. At this stage, the air knife doesn't matter. It's just the hot air that's in the system. Yep. So now you can see this temperature is actually rising closer now to this 155 here. So this value here is this value here. external chemistry. I don't want that one. Okay, that is. So, but we will talk all about this. We will talk all about this when we go into JLS. Okay? Cut.